What's up? This is Cyclonus, and I am here again with uh, some more Xbox related news. But first, I would like to uh, say that it has recently been announced that the uh, PlayStation 4 has won the uh, June MPDs for hardware sales. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, but there's a reason behind this. I know, I know, I know, I know, PlayStation sucks, I know, I know, yes, I know, I know, I know, um, but I have good news, Xbox fans, the Xbox One was the best selling console during E3 week which now we can all put the who won E3 2015 debate to rest ponies Microsoft's Xbox One was the clear winner which should be no surprise Xbox executive Aaron Greenberg writes on Twitter that the Xbox One actually outsold the PlayStation 4 during the week of E3 2015, Xbox One sales rose a healthy 79% compared to the week of E3 2014. For June overall, the Xbox One sales in 2015 jumped 51% compared to 2014. So it is definitely a great time and an amazing time to be an Xbox One owner. But as Greenberg points out, the PlayStation 4 was the top seller overall for June. And that the platform's success was at least driven by the special edition Batman Arkham Knight console bundle. And like I said before, this is due to the marketing tricks by Sony fooling people into thinking that these third party games are PlayStation for exclusives now if you go back I did a video on Sony's marketing scams and out of all games I showed Batman Arkham Knight a PlayStation 4 bundle at a local Best Buy which clearly shows how they are doing this but what people have to understand is that they have to do this because they cannot compete on any other level with the Xbox One. Features, games, hardware, technology, to name a few. So Sony takes the car artist route by deceiving the customer, by getting them to believe in things that are not really true. In order to uh, get people to purchase their PlayStation products, that's what Sony has been doing this whole current generation so far. By having people brainwashed into waiting and thinking greatness is coming, but it never really will. But I must admit, it is a smart, underhanded marketing trick Sony has going. But folks, even marketing tricks won't be able to outshine the Xbox One's innovation and advancements and great first party lineups. What Microsoft needs to do is say, fuck it, you want to play? We'll play and secure all the major third party games and make them timed exclusive for the Xbox One so the Pony Station won't get it for months. And that will teach Sony. But Microsoft doesn't have to take this route because they are the best at what they do. And those are facts. It's only but so long that these schemes and overhype and undelivery on the part of Sony runs out before they fall victim to the truth that the Xbox One is better and they can't stop evolution, innovation, and advancement. Leave your comments down below, tell me what you think, and uh, before I get out of here, oh yeah, Xbox One's backwards compatibility is off to a quick start. Since it launched to preview program members on June 15th, Users have spent more than 30 million minutes playing Xbox 360 games on Xbox One. And when the big backwards compatibility update for the Xbox One hits this fall, it will support 
hundreds that's right folks hundreds of Xbox 360 titles and the active global Xbox Live users Xbox One and Xbox 360 grew 22 percent so that means that more and more people are joining Xbox Live which is the best gaming and stable network on the planet I'm Cyclonus that's all the news that I got for right now like I said leave your comments down below I will leave a link to this article and until next time my opinion counts